It was a sunny day Tuesday at Bob Turtle Smith Stadium as William & Mary came to town, but the sun did not shine in the Terps' favor, as it instead heated up the bats of the Tribe, who took down Maryland 13-3. The Terps seemed to be continuing where they left off with their bats in the first inning, as Nick LaRusso stayed hot with the double before being bought in on a Matt Wood sack fly. However, Maryland would unfortunately stay consistent in their pitching roles as well, this time in the arm of Ryan Van Buren, as the Tribe came right back in the second inning with three runs of their own produced off of plays that should have been made by the Dirty Terps. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, it, it's kind of the second second of the game. We kind of had a chance to, you know, get a double play and get out of an inning or to minimize, and we don't. We don't make the play, and it turns into crooked numbers. You know, a nine spot on Sunday and a three spot today, you know. We turn a double play, and there's nobody on two outs after scoring in the first. You, you know, I hear opportunity for him to get a little bit deeper, but, but we didn't make the play. Vaughn's gritty squad would fire right back with two runs of their own, as Elijah Lambros joined it on the fun with an RBI single followed by another sack fly, this time from Luke Schliger. But, despite the great start, the fun for the Terps would end after the second inning, as William and Mary would not allow them to score again. The Tribe would open up their unanswered scoring run in the fourth inning with an inside-the-park home run that knocked Matt Woods out of the game after he attempted to make a play at the wall. Logan Ott came in to attempt to close the wound, but the disaster continued, as he would immediately let up a solo home run before closing out the three-run inning. Offensively, the Terrapins could just not find their way. Too many strikeouts and poorly placed balls kept the offense at a standstill, especially in the seventh inning, as three Terps would strike out despite loading the bases, unable to capitalize in a situation that they had to. It seemed as if Maryland had thrown in the towel at that point, as Wagner Morissette and freshman pitcher Eli Stowe combined for six walks in the eighth inning, which helped the Tribe's lead extend to 12-3. to before they tacked on another in the final frame to end Maryland's suffering 13-3. to This was Maryland's only second time losing by 10 or more runs, the last to Ole Miss. The Terrapins now look to regroup against Rutgers this Friday. With Terrapin Sports Central, I am Andrew McBride.